The insanity defense and diminished responsibility both look carefully at the mental condition of the defendant. But the insanity defense excuses all criminal liability, whereas diminished responsibility negates the specific mental state required for a particular crime or degree of crime. The United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit considered these interrelated concepts in United States v. Brauner. In September of 1967, Archie Brauner went to a party where several fights broke out. Brauner was injured during one of the fights and left the party, announcing that he would come back and that someone was going to die that night. A short half an hour later, Brauner was making his way back to the party with a gun. When Brauner reached the apartment where the party was still in full swing, he fired five shots through the closed hallway door, killing partygoer Billy Ford. The police found Brauner and arrested him just a few minutes later. At the trial for first-degree murder, expert witnesses for the defense and prosecution agreed Brauner was suffering from a mental abnormality. They used different medical labels, but the experts on both sides generally agreed Brauner had an explosive personality disorder associated with epilepsy. The experts further agreed that Brauner's epileptic condition could have been exacerbated by alcohol or by a physical blow to the head. What the experts disagreed on was the part Brauner's mental abnormality played in the killing of Ford. Brauner was ultimately convicted of second-degree murder, and his appeal to the District of Columbia Circuit centered around his insanity defense and whether evidence of his mental abnormality was admissible apart from its bearing on insanity.